Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or of course, if you have not been here before, just a warm welcome. For today's video, instead of hauling and trying on clothes like I normally would for y'all, we are trying something on. You might have guessed it from the title. We're trying on Glamnetics Magnetic Lashes. I don't know why we're doing it, but we are. I have seen so many ads on my Facebook, on my Instagram, everywhere, like haunting me to try magnetic lashes and like, I gave in. I am not a big false eyelash wearer in the first place and that is strictly because I hate the application. But for the dramatic look that I want most of the time, I would love to throw on a pair of lashes. So anyway, back to business. So if you guys have not been on Glamnetics website, they do have um, like packages, which I did. You get like two lashes and an eyeliner. You can choose between their gel liner and their liquid liner. Instead of going with a gel liner, which I probably would have had more control with putting on. It probably would have looked a little bit better. Um, I read a few things that people did not like the gel eyeliner from Glamnetic because the lashes didn't stick as well or magnetize as well. So that all being said, I went with their typical liquid eyeliner that comes with two lashes. I will break down the prices for you guys in just one second. So this is what the packaging for the liner looks like. Honestly, I love the packaging. And these are the two lashes that I got in the set. I got the Glamnetic Lavish Lash, that's a mouthful, and the Glamnetic Lush Lash. So they do come in these little magnetized kind of boxes you can probably see right there. And these are lavish. I love that. And then these are the Lush Lashes. So on the top here we have the Lavish Lash, again as you can see, and then Lashes on the bottom. At first I really thought I was going to like Lavish Lashes better, but like Lush you looking real cute and stuff. Beautiful, but expensive. Let's get down to price really quick before I try these out for you guys. So this bundle all together was, I don't even know how much because I don't have my email. One second. And I believe I did have a code for them. Sorry guys, I'm working with Natural Daylight, so bear with me. So this is the Jumpin' on a Jet lash set. Originally $89.99 USD. Obviously I'm in Canada, so that is like 40% on top of that. So then I got a 30% off coupon, so I got $26.99 off. It came to US dollars, 63 bucks. Um, someone can do the conversion. I don't wanna look at that number. A lot of money for two pairs of lashes and some eyeliner. Okay, so I think that I've rambled on enough. I'm going to move my camera over here and I think we're ready to try them on. It's also like really windy and there's a tree like waving around my front lawn, so sorry if you can hear that. I don't control the weather. I'm not the government. I need to like, let's go in with the eyeliner. Ooh, so there is what that looks like right out of the package. And the instructions are actually on the back of the eyelashes. I'm gonna use these, these are from Tarte. <gasps> Magnets. Does anybody wanna see me do my eyeliner? Probably. Okay, I can't. All right, so that's what that looks like. Why is my hand so dry? Probably because I'm washing it 30 times a day. Pretty typical eyeliner. First things I'm noticing right away, I know it's kind of strange to like smell something, but it's a very strong smell that comes out of it. I don't have any other liquid eyeliner that I can compare it to, but like, she has strong smell, I bet chemically. Anyway, here we go. This is gonna be like comical. Okay, so. I have the eyeliner on. Ooh, she feeling a bit sticky. Oh my god, it looks like a five-year-old did that. Am I okay? The eyeliner is like incredibly sticky. Like it feels like there's actually tape on my eye. Okay, I'm gonna give it two more minutes and if it's still tacky, I'm just assuming that's how it's meant to be. Okay, so I somehow made things worse because I decided to add a wing. Okay, anyway, I'd like to report. It's been literally almost 15 minutes. 
Um, this eye is still not dried down. This eye is not dried down either. And what I mean by dried down is it just still feels tacky. I didn't see anywhere in the package. Apparently you're supposed to wait 10 seconds for the liner to dry. So I let it dry for like 15 minutes. Here we go. Oh snap! Oh my god! That is like... Okay, excuse my eyeliner, but like that is like stuck. What? Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. If I had done this eyeliner better and it wasn't as thick, um, it would look way better. I don't think anything, nothing is lifting, like, at all. These feel so much more secure than your normal lash with lash glue. Sorry, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder because, like, who is she? I had mascara on before I did, like, a little bit before I put on the eyeliner. So the eyeliner kind of got caught in my lashes at some point while I was putting it on. So what I would suggest is that you kind of hold down your lashes while you do your liner, if you know what I mean. Um, because naturally the, la the magnet wanted to go to my eyelash, which made it a little bit difficult to kind of place it. Okay, did not hurt at all. But as you can see, you might be able to see, took off some of the liner with it. Let me take the other one off and let's try on the Lush lashes. They like, they stuck on there. Make sure I don't have my actual eyelash. Let's zoom in and we'll do these lashes next. Let's do end two. Okay. Okay, these are like little spiders. It's ginormous, but it is on and it feels incredibly secure. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna pull that down a little bit. So secure, I'm so impressed. I just, I, I really expected them to be more of a gimmick than an actual item I would genuinely use. I'm gonna be real, these ones right here, the Lush Lashes. What? To switch back into the lavish lashes before I give you guys my final thoughts. Third time putting them on and second pair of lashes again, this is lavish. Um, it went on just as easily and then I'm just gonna move that up a little bit. I apologize for doing that, like Hector from Coco. Okay. I'll start with my inner corner. Oh. Yep, and then of course, again, if you have some of the liner on your actual physical eyelashes, uh, just be careful that you don't attach them to that. But there you go. And this one is lavish again. They're not fucking around. Uh, I don't wanna be a brother. Final thoughts, buy them. Like this is one of the best purchases I've made in a very long time and I'm someone who shops online a lot. Before the next use, I will clean them off but I'm not wearing them anytime soon. Again, I mean like <laughs> my birthday's in two days but I won't be wearing them out for that. Anyway guys, I hope I helped you make up your mind. I'm a fan, like I'm a hardcore fan. I believe in Glamnetic. And make sure to leave me a comment if you've tried Magnetic Lashes and what your thoughts are. Okay guys, <laughs> thanks for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe and thumbs up and I'll see y'all in the next one. Probably wearing these lashes. <laughs> okay, bye guys, mwah. Carol Baskin. <laughs> okay, I just took seven TikToks. Back into their little boxes. Oh, thank you, son. That's gross. Does anyone else remember when U2's album downloaded onto all of our phones? All right. <laughs>